Hey guys, it's Postbox Pat, and welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, we've got so much news for you guys. Do not go anywhere from new skins to Switch versions and so much more. Stay tuned throughout the entire video. I cannot wait to go over everything. But to start off today's video, don't forget to smash that subscribe. We're getting so close to 600,000 subscribers on the channel. They mean the absolute world to me if we could get there before Christmas. I think we can do it, maybe even November. Let's try our best to do it. If you're new around here, do consider smashing that subscribe and notification bell to stay up to date with all the latest Fortnite news. So, first off, what do we have? Well, I wanted to go over the Daredevil skins. This is brand new in the shop. You guys will know that I did a stream on it earlier. And to be honest, I do like the skin. I think it's pretty cool. It comes in with my probably least favorite out of the three recent Marvel skins, which are released in the shop this season. However, it's still a really nice skin and I'll give it a rating of around eight out of 10, between 7.5 and eight out of 10. I think it's really cool. I love the cartoon design to it and it is in the shop as a bundle as well, which you can purchase for 3,100 V-Bucks where you get Daredevil himself, the pickaxe and the glider all in one. Now the Daredevil skin is only 1,500 V-Bucks, so you could just buy the skin on its own and not get the pickaxe or the glider. But if you do like the pickaxe or the glider, then you can. To be honest, the pickaxe isn't really that good. I probably should have just bought Daredevil and the glider because the pickaxes aren't that good, but they are interactive with the skin, by the way, just like all the other Marvel skins. So that's a little unique touch there. But anyway, that's enough of Daredevil. If you are copying Daredevil, don't forget to pop in code postbox pack to the item shop. It means the absolute world to me if you guys could go and do that. And it really does support me through these difficult times. Thank you everyone considering to support me further. It honestly is one of the best ways to support this channel. So thank you. I am a hashtag Epic Games partner. Okay, what else do we have for you guys? Well, I thought I'd put in the Nintendo Switch bundle here. So here is an official preview of what it's going to look like if you purchase the Nintendo Switch Fortnite Edition. This is going to come with the Wildcat bundle for 2,000 V-Bucks. A pack as well, which is pretty cool, which is, I guess, the 2,000 V-Bucks is one of the packs. I'm not too sure what that is because it's a different language so I can't translate it. I think it's just a translation of the Wildcat bundle but in a different language. This is the Nintendo Switch edition and the Switch is so awesome. It actually comes with a little battle bus on the controller and then on the front panel of the Switch we can see so many skins on there from Tomato Head, Peely, Durburger, Fish Stick, Skull Trooper, Meowzles and a bunch of others as well which are pretty cool. So I really do like it and it's a nice new edition for the Nintendo Switch and honestly if I didn't own a Nintendo Switch this would be one I would cop. Now the only downside to copping this Nintendo Switch is I have a strange feeling that Nintendo will bring out an upgraded version of this in the future. What I mean by that is basically an upgraded console which is more powerful because now we've got Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5 around the corner. We know that Nintendo will have to up their game to compete with that like, line of gen, especially with the power that's in them consoles. So I'm assuming the Switch will probably see a revamp next year sometime. I don't know when, I can't guarantee it. So if you are interested in this purchase, it is going to be a limited edition purchase as well so if you're a huge Fortnite fan like myself it's probably worth getting if you don't own a switch but if you are waiting for an upgraded nintendo switch it is a wise move as well but it is your decision obviously that's down to yourself and that's just my prediction i can't guarantee that nintendo switch are going to bring out an upgraded version it would just make sense for them to bring out a better version with all the new consoles which usually takes nintendo one to two years so yeah, if you need to play some Nintendo games like Luigi Mansion or Super Smash Brothers or Legend of Zelda, whatever you play on Nintendo Switch, because I play them games, then maybe this one could be for you as well. Just a general overview of the Nintendo Switch. <laughs> I know it's a little bit off topic, but I thought I'd just talk about it because Fortnite are doing a collaboration with it right there. Okay, moving on forward to our next little topic, which is actually the movement of the helicarrier. So on stream today, a few people were asking me about this. Here's a little render of it coming in, credit to the person of this one, the Twitch right there up there. So you can see this this is quite nice we can see that the helicarrier is going to be moved to this position on the map which is kind of perfect really it's in between everything it's right in the middle it's a nice spot to visit and apparently this is only going to be for the event i generally think this will be after fort nightmares they'll have the fort nightmares event with the boss or whatever we get with the fort nightmares stuff then we will see this helicarrier possibly appear above the map right there i am hoping for some additional bosses around fort nightmares but i can't guarantee it all for all of us so Remember, guys, keep your eyes peeled on that side. Don't forget to join us as a member on the channel as well, guys. If you want to get involved in member games, you can. I'm hosting member games tomorrow afternoon. So if you want to join Sunday afternoon, make sure you pop in and join the member games as a VIP if you want to. The link is down below if you're interested in joining as a member. So what else other topics do I have for you? Well, the cube skin. This is a common question that always gets asked to me, Pat. What's going on with the cube stuff? Well, recently we got a leak talking about the cube possibly having its own skin this Fortnite Nightmares from Mango, which you can see a few of the file names here for it 
but we also have some concepts. So the original cube concept we got was Dr. Ken and Mr. Vin here. This was a while ago, and I covered this in a video a long time ago. This was from Reddit, and these were the original concepts for Kevin. They're not really related to Kevin too much, but they have little Easter eggs to him and little power and references to him. I kind of like it. I think it's a really cool one. But this isn't the only thing that we do have. We also have a few other skins in here as well. This one here from EA is a really nice concept. I thought this was a cool one, so I put that one in. So credit to EA reporting on that for you guys. As well, there's another concept here which someone drew up, which I thought was really nice as well. I don't think they would have a floating skin, but if they could make it so... Well, they could actually have a skin that floats like this, so maybe it could be a possibility. So I'm liking these concepts which I've seen around. If you guys have any concepts, let me know in the comment section and go and post them to me at Postbox Pat on Twitter. And I'll have a little look at them or in the media section on the Discord. So some really nice little things there. Honestly, I'm very, very excited for all of that. What else do we have? Well, Galactus apparently is getting closer. Here's two little screenshots of the comparison of Galactus. Apparently, he's getting closer and closer. Obviously, this would make sense because the event is around the corner. And I think it would be absolutely awesome to kind of understand and kind of follow Galactus's process. So hopefully, we can get some more screenshots as Galactus does get closer and closer to the world of our Fortnite map. And I cannot wait to see what is going to happen during that final event. It is going to be absolutely incredible. And I'm sure so many of you guys are excited for that, which is just around the corner. Okay, this topic was mentioned on Happy Powers video, I believe, and he explained how he thinks these are the Winterfest and the kind of lobby for the Winterfest side of stuff, both inside of Save the World and Battle Royale. I can confirm that both of these are Save the World. Last year, when I played Save the World, the Winterfest event, this one on the left was used for the background and you'd have your four Save the World skins stood there. And the one on the right is just a decorated version of one of the lobbies where you can customize your Save the World characters. Unfortunately, these are not Battle Royale. So I know a few people did get a little bit misconfused or kind of confused or uh, different kind of ideas and they were thinking they were Battle Royale. Unfortunately, it kind of confirms that this is Save the World. Unfortunately, it's not the Battle Royale Winterfest area, and I'm sure we'll see a very similar cabin to we saw last season for the Winterfest with some special rewards like we got last Christmas. So I'll keep you updated on all the Christmas stuff. It's quite a while off. We're not even at Halloween yet. We're almost at Halloween, but, you know, Christmas is around the corner, I guess. So keeping you guys up to date with all that sort of stuff on Winterfest, ready for everything that gets released. Here is on another topic, kind of, the actual Halloween ones which we had last year or not last year the year before last actually this will be the fourth halloween won't it this time so you can see here we've got uh, the original halloween lobby screen which is just probably the best ever lobby screen in my opinion and then we've got the one from season six which you can see here and yeah that's really it i used to love this og fortnite layout and i'm sure many of us do fortnite has gone so modern at the minute and it's still cool i think i'd miss it as well like if Fortnite went back to the og layout i'd miss the modern version as well so generally speaking it's crazy to think how far fortnite has developed and come to this point but you know these things do happen in the gaming industry and things do go go kind of crazy and just develop you know what i mean this is what happens and we've got this amazing version of fortnite which is awesome and i would miss it if it went back to the og version and even if the uh this version stayed like it is i still miss the og version so you can't really win in either situation unless they gave us the option to change that lobby screen and the style of gameplay in the game other than that guys if you haven't checked out my other video on my buy post channel i posted one last night brand new video over on my second channel go and check it out if you're interested in that side of stuff hope you guys did really enjoy today's video smash that like comment down below your opinions on the topics i've discussed in today's video and i'll see you guys in future fortnite battle royale content once again this is postbox pat standing out